I finally got Anti, the subscale writable ant, to stand. I've been working on this ant for two weeks over the course of two previous videos. What I learned is just getting it to stand is super hard. I had to make a bunch of mods to get Anti to stand properly. I made caps, better thread tensioning, and booties. Standing is all about fighting gravity optimally, so we don't just collapse into a pile. With the weight of this motor, and eventually batteries, the midsection wants to fall to the floor. Like a bridge holding up cars, the legs need to transmit a resistive force, so the body doesn't fall to the ground. Unlike a bridge, legs have to alternate between a static connection to the ground and rising up to take a step. To fight gravity, I made caps to make sure the joints don't flex in the wrong direction. I fixed the thread tension so those muscles of the leg are properly tightened for the whole range of movement, and I gave the legs little booties to make sure the foot isn't sliding around. So with that, let's dive deeper into the joint caps. Caps make sure the legs don't flex under gravity. This part of the ant is called the coxa, it is the part of the ant responsible for swiveling the legs back and forth. I use spring flexures for all my joints, but the part that mimics the coxa was bending up too much. The caps stopped that upward bend. This was a quick fix, but I hate it. Even though they were stopping the bending, they kept popping off. I have an entire redesign that will make it so I don't have to use these caps anymore. Thread is anti's muscle and needs to be taut in order to transmit force to resist gravity. I'd initially used monofilament, but that was impossible to secure and it would unwind itself the minute I put tension on it. Then I used thread and just wound it around a post and glued it. The problem with that is I couldn't adjust the tension if I had gotten it wrong. I really needed something adjustable. I designed these pegs to twist and tension the line. They have a divot to collect the line and a small screw top, and they are just thick enough to be able to tap them into the holes securely. Booties fight gravity with friction. The foot was sliding way too easily. When I made the design, I really forgot about how ants have claws and how critical they might be. My foot was essentially only a tiny single point of contact that struggled to create any friction. I had to make a claw for this ant that came in the form of this TPU booty with treads. I tried out a few different angles and found the one that worked. And now this robot can finally stand properly. The same thing that makes Anti stand are hopefully what will get it running well. The other part of what makes Anti walk are my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for making this all possible. More support means I can take on bigger and riskier projects. Thank you to Sahaj Singh, Kevon Wolfshield, George Hampton, Ian Johnson, and Matt Perez. Thank you everybody for watching and remember to be easy on yourself.